So the final race of the week is a one mile seven group one event for three year olds and stunning force of seconds at the top. Yuri Oliver Craig Allen is number two. Bridget Craig Beckwith is three. Kikorna Festival for David Robertson, four. Joyrider Dan Hughes, five. And then Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, six. Words as weapons, Leon Van Rensburg, seven. My horse didn't get entered for some reason. Never mind, away they go. And this final race of week nine is the 42nd race of week nine. And in my opinion, is too many for one week, 42 races. So stunning force is the lead, but that is just my opinion and other opinions are held by other people. And Stunning Force then leads by five lengths to Words as Weapons in second. Bridget is third, then Jaw Rider fourth. The Corner Festival, Unilight and Lakeland Highlands. So they passed the winning post then with a circuit to go. And it's been another exciting week. The forum's woken up for the first time in ages with the disaster of Patch 53. Or whatever it's going to be referred to where you can now see the hidden bars of the sires most of the decent size have expired anyway so it's not really that much use I don't think but I'm sure it could be manipulated by some people into something but I'm not sure what I think with this it comes down to it it's time that's the big thing in this it's not what bars you can see or whatever it's what how much time you've got and how organized you are and how you do it whether you do it to breed for this league or whether you do it for your own enjoyment. Anyway, stunning forces in the lead with Joyrider second and then Bridget on the inside third. Unilite is fourth with words as weapons to corner festival and finally Lakeland Highlands. So stunning force then sat down front runner they're not easy to get past so they don't want to give this one too much of an easy lead. Joyrider is second, Bridget is third and then Unilite on the outside trying to give Craig Allen another group one winner before his imminent retirement, which was announced today, and it would appear that he's going to become a chicken breeder. So, he's as successful as breeding chickens as he has been doing at racehorses for the last two or three years. Colonel Sanders better watch out. Anyway, stunning force is the leader, as words as weapons moves through into second, or Bernard Matthews even. Well, that was turkeys, isn't it? Anyway, it's stunning force in the lead from words as weapons second, and then Joyrider is third. Bridget's fourth, and then Lakeland Highlands Unilight, and finally Kakorna Festival. Stunning force by about a length to Words as Weapons in second, and Lakeland Highlands is third. The second of the three greys, Joyrider, is next. Uh, Bridget being trapped on the inside. What a week Craig Beckwith's had. What a his best week since joining the league, I would have thought. Although he was around donkey's years ago, I think, so maybe he was better then, I don't know, but he's certainly done alright this week, and Words as Weapons has now kicked on again and into the final two furlongs and has quickly gone two or three clear and is trying to put this one to bed pretty quickly, but Unilight is trying to come out of the pack, so too is Lakeland Highlands, they race down into the final furlong and Words as Weapons is clear from Unilight and Lakeland Highlands, but Words as Weapons is beginning to slow, and here comes Unilight, Lakeland Highlands, to corner Festival on the outside, they swamp past the leader, and Unilight, Words as Weapons, to corner Festival, Unilight just hanging on, and Unilight taxes for the chicken farmer and Lakeland Highlands and Kakorna Festival and it's words as weapons drop right out in the end and Craig Allen how many more group ones can he notch up in the final few weeks and he's taken that one pretty cleverly and it's a win for Unilight for Craig Allen Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson second, Kakorna Festival, David Robertson third, Bridget Craig Beck with fourth, and Words as Weapons for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. That's week uh, nine, isn't it? Yeah, week nine in the book. We're back next week for week ten. <laughs>